Hockey, they were looking to fare a little bit better with girls. The LVC Soccer Championship also taking place. The Trojans, defending league champs, looking to bring home another title. But they knew they would have their hands full, squaring off with the Easton Red Rovers. We head out back to Whitehall High School at the Zephyr Sports Complex. Al Haddad leading the way for the Parkland Trojans. Tim Hall, once again, guiding the Red Rovers. Ten minutes in, Emily Monco gets one to roll through. Chet Edwards will be denied as Aaron Agonos is there. Knock the ball away. No score at the half. Second half we go. The Trojans on the attack again. Morgan Womensky sends it high to keep the game scoreless. Just a minute later, the Red Rovers get a shot off. This is an easy save for Reagan Alsop. 0-0 remains as we head into overtime. Caitlin Lucas then puts one on net. Easy for Alsop. Still tied. We are going to overtime number two. A great opportunity for the Red Rovers. Megan Grunhauser. With a nice look, but Alsop holds her ground. 13 saves on the night between Alsop and Becky Webster. Two PKs we go. Parkland goes first. Kaylee Haberbosch finds the back of the net. 1-0 Trojan. Lucas follows for East, and she sends one to the top left corner of the goal. Now 1-1. Things change from there as Warman Sky is denied here by Gianna Solomon, who is inserted in the game just for PKs. We are tied up at 1-1. It goes back and forth from there. Then Grunhauser delivers in the clutch. Easton wins 5-4 in PKs as they take home their first ever Lehigh Valley Conference Championship. I'm just happy for the girls, and I think it says volumes about the program when you got alumni here and hand them their medals because our girls have been so close for so long, and it's just, you're just really happy for this group. I'm more worried in the first half. I thought they took it to us, and now we made some adjustments in the second half. I told the girls, look, we've been here lots of times, all right? Play to win the game, all right? Don't play not to lose it. And uh, I think the second half, they really played to win the game, and I think they deserved it. We were extremely excited. We've been waiting for this game for, I know the seniors have been waiting for four years to play this game, and we were extremely ready and pumped, and we knew we were going to win it right from, right from the start. You know, tonight was just not just for our girls, but it was for every girl that's put on this jersey. We were fighting for everyone, so it's a big deal. Real strong defensive effort uh, to keep us at, at zero, to keep us, you know, to give, get us a chance. Uh, and, uh, you know, again, the overtimes just become who wants a little bit more. And both teams, so we started to come out of our shell a little bit. But uh, we knew it was going to be a, an unbelievable hard-fought game. We practiced PKs. We, we did really well with them. They just did a little bit better. It's about the kids. I just wanted the girls to be happy. And they worked so hard. And Parkland did not really deserve to lose it. I hate penalty kicks to the side of game. But, you know, we didn't want to be here. They have classes tomorrow. Is it a fair way to decide? Absolutely not. But that's how it is.